Greet your patient warmly and politely, identify your patient, take an oral informed consent, explain all the steps of the procedure to your patient, verify order for manipulation, help to collect sputum for patient with self-care deficit. The patient's mouth should be rinsed with water before sample is collected to avoid contamination of sample with a food residue. It can also be helpful to remove dentures. Two hours before collecting sputum, teeth, gums and tongue should be brushed with a toothbrush. Prepare all the equipment on the procedure trolley. It should be a container with a, a screw top lid, a sterile for microbiological test, documentation, PPE, eye protection, face shield, sleeves, apron, cap, non-sterile gloves, tags for containers, disinfectant solutions. Position the patient in an upright position in a chair on the edge of the bed or well supported by pillow in bed, high polar position, to ensure maximum lung expansion. Give the labored container to your patient. Tell patient not touch container of any time. Maintain sterility of container and lid. Stand behind your patient. Tell patient to take a deep breath and hold for a few seconds, then breathe out slowly. Repeat the process three times. Tell patient to blow out heart during the third blow. It may be helpful to count the blows for your patient. Ask your patient to lift container close in his her mouth and blow out hard once more. Tell patient to cup directly, directly into the plastic container. Close container, put it in transportation bag and transport it to the laboratory immediately. Deliver to the laboratory as soon as, as soon as possible after collection, not longer than two hours. Clean the apron, sleeves, remove gloves in special waste container, perform hand hygiene, register the procedure in the patient's chat, record test results from the laboratory into the patient's medical record.